When thinking about the transition away from fossil fuels and onto cleaner, greener forms of transportation, it's all too easy to focus on the individual and their own personal forms of transport. I'll happily admit that we and other channels like us also tend to focus on plug-in cars far more than we do other forms of plug-in transportation. But while Tesla and other electric cars that you can buy today tend to get most of the limelight, there's a segment of electrified transportation that's doing far more than any other to get us off fossil fuels for good – electric buses. And according to a recent report by Bloomberg NES, electric buses are displacing three times the amount of oil today than all of the other passenger electric cars in the world combined. By the end of this year, a cumulative 270,000 barrels of oil a day will have been completely eradicated by the adoption of electric buses, with the majority of those buses being on the roads of China. What's more, for every 1,000 electric buses on the road, 500 barrels a day less oil is burnt. For every 1,000 privately owned electric vehicles, oil demand just drops by 15 barrels of oil per day. This is fantastic news for anyone who wants to see the world weaned off fossil fuels and even though global oil demand is on the rise – an estimated 12 million barrels of oil a day since 2011 – it shows that there's a great potential for fantastic growth. By 2040, the analysts at Bloomberg NEF says we'll see 6.4 million barrels of oil displaced on average each day by plug-in vehicles. So why are electric buses doing so much more at removing oil demand? It's basic maths. At average passenger loads, buses can achieve somewhere around 6 miles per gallon if operated on diesel or 5.5 miles per gallon on gasoline. If we consider that the average number of people on a bus in normal service, that works out to around 38 or so person miles per gallon, which is essentially how many miles per gallon per person the vehicle manages. When the bus is full, even then it's heavier, the bus does get more efficient, managing as much as 330 person miles per gallon. But because buses are rarely full, then, well, we don't usually get that kind of efficiency. In the course of a day, that's a lot of oil and a lot of emissions. If we assume most buses operate in urban areas, then there's also the effects on the local population of all those particulates from diesel engines, or indeed from petrol ones, entering the air as the bus trundles along its route. Of course, emissions do remain a little problem. While electric buses do displace oil, there's still the problem of grid cleanless in China when most of these electric buses are doing the oil displacement. China does burn more coal than any other nation for its electricity grid, but it's also heavily investing in renewable electricity and, along with India, is currently leading the shift to renewable electricity. There's still a long way to go and the focus of this video isn't grid power but oil displacement, but it's worth noting that electric buses like electric cars get cleaner as the grid gets cleaner. Even if we ignore the emissions problems of the grid and assume that emissions are pretty nasty in China right now, there are other benefits to having electric buses over electric cars, and this is true worldwide. First, it's very democratizing. Electric buses transform the emissions of a larger proportion of the population and are far less, how do I put this, class conscious. Electric cars, even more affordable ones, generally require a far higher income to own than it costs to take a ride on a bus. Second, electric buses can help remove congestion. At least they can if more people are encouraged to ride the bus and leave their own personal cars at home. Since electric buses are generally far more pleasant to ride than diesel-powered ones because there's no nasty smelly exhaust and the ride is far smoother, the switch to electric could perhaps encourage more people to ride the bus and push more privately owned vehicles off the road. And that triple whammy – removal of reliance on petroleum, democratizing electrification of transport and lowering emissions – is beneficial to absolutely everyone, not just those who can afford to buy their own electric vehicle. Finally, of course, there's the benefits of cost of ownership. Just like electric cars, electric buses are still more expensive than internal combustion engine ones, but they cost far less to refuel and they cost far less to service, meaning that the companies or governments operating them do save a lot of money in the long term. This can either be passed on to 
customers through savings, lower fares, or it can make more profits for the operators in question. So that, in a nutshell, is why electric buses are, like it or not, more important right now than electric cars when it comes to getting us off fossil fuels. With more and more bus companies and cities committing to getting electric over the next few years, I don't see that changing anytime soon. Maybe Tesla should make an electric bus. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or you didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single episode. And if you want to support the show, why not follow one of the three links below me in the show notes. I'll be back soon with another episode. But until that point, keep evolving.